Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Walden with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Today we're going to take another look at Mark Walton, the running back out of Miami. And this is from last year. So understand that players often progress conceptually, physically, technically from one year to the next as they develop into pro prospects. Mark Walton is certainly a viable pro prospect at the running back position. But I want to show you a play that gives you an idea of what you would want to expect from a player who is progressing from one year to the next. The first thing you're going to see is that this is a nickel set with Miami, with FSU, six men in the box. And you're going to see this run up the middle. And the first thing people may notice is, well, look at him get yards after, the con after contact. He gets hit by the linebacker near the line of scrimmage and is able to keep his feet moving, which is a really nice skill, and to extend forward to turn this into a four-yard gain. There are a lot of backs who maybe when they're hit flush like this by a linebacker, that they're going to fall sideways when they're hit in the hips like that and not have the strength and the balance and the footwork to turn this into a four-yard gain. That's a really nice play. True. So physically, there's some nice things to say about Mark Walton. The footwork, the balance, the power, yards after contact. Fantastic. But he should have gained a lot more on this play. And it wasn't because of the linebacker. It wasn't because he should have had more power or he should have made a, 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 a move to make that man miss. Nothing like that. It's about conceptually understanding your blocking scheme. Because when you... When you watch the run game, the first thing you really want to do is not watch the runner, but watch what the offense is doing. What are they doing on this play, and what is it that the, the runner should be doing? This play, you start with the center and the guard. The center is working to the, in, to the right side, and you have the guard pulling across all the way to the outside of the left tackle, and really the end on this play the tight end so if he's pulling to the outside the tight end this is power this is a power run this is the power scheme and on power which is a gap play you want the running back to follow that pulling lineman if he follows that pulling lineman you see what happens here there's a seal outside the wide receiver is running off the cornerback who's not even looking to the line of scrimmage and Walton follows that outside he's going to be able to get upfield and most likely get a first down if not get a significant gain from this instead Walton heads right downhill where the pulling lineman vacated that spot so he's running this like it's a zone play rather than a power play or a draw play but this should be power he should follow it outside because he doesn't follow his blocks, the inside linebacker isn't accounted for here because that's not how it's supposed to work. He's supposed to work out, Mark Walton's supposed to work outside and force this linebacker from the inside to pursue outside where he has the speed edge. Instead, he runs right towards that linebacker, and now it's about his effort. While the effort's good, the physicality's good, conceptually, this was a mistake. So... What you're going to want to look for from Mark Walton, you know, if we were going to imagine that the junior year isn't already halfway through, is did he learn how to run behind power? Did he learn to recognize this? If there are more power runs in the repertoire and you see him following that pulling guard correctly in the right circumstances to do so. Now, there may be situations where maybe there's enough penetration where he's supposed to go that he has to improvise. But this is not one of those plays. This is one of those plays where he should have maybe worked inside and continued and then worked outside, you know, pressed that, that guard. So he could have worked inside a couple of steps, say, right here, get that linebacker to think that maybe he's going to work inside and then make that bounce outside as the pulling guard gets his block. That would be a good way of setting up that pulling block, getting outside, and then into that flat where he had a lot of open field. So conceptually, 
that's something he's going to have he'd have to prove with tape as a junior that he's developed a better understanding of the blocking scheme in front of him and understanding how to follow it and set it up right now that's not something he's shown with his sophomore tape so just give you some insight in terms of when you're looking at running back play it's not just about physical skills and quote-unquote instincts instincts is nothing more than really being prepared to the point that you understand how to integrate the physical the technical and the conceptual and do it doing it in a reactionary level of timing so it's that's what instincts really are thanks again for watching for more rsp boiler room videos you can check out my youtube channel the rsp film room and my site www.mattwaldmanrsp.com